This video is getting a bit into political territory, but nonetheless, this video is why we need to make sure that Doug Mastriano is not elected. Now, the polls are saying that it's pretty safe for um, Josh. Hero, I want to say. He's the one running for governor. I bet a Fetterman. And as we know, Doug Mastriano is the Republican candidate. Now, normally my po politics do lean on the Republican side, but this is one case where if I was in Pennsylvania and could vote, I would absolutely vote for the Democratic candidate because Doug Mastriano is a threat a threat to our democracy. Why is he a threat to our democracy? Well, he is a threat to our democracy because he is probably further to the right than Trump. So is Josh Handel, but he lost the primary to J.D. Vance. But the polls only give Vance a small lead over Tim Ryan. As a matter of fact, in recent months, ever since um, Roe v. Wade was overturned on the 24th of June, um, <clears throat> ever since that day, polls have been increasingly supporting a Democratic victory, at least in the Senate. But the House is going to narrow up. Polls are now indicating a 51 to 49 Democratic majority, a.k.a. they increased by one seat. And in the House, I'd say it's probably about 226 to 209 is where the polls tend to be indicating. But of course, it's harder to predict. Um, you have way more seats up for election. I think you have like 400 more seats up for election. So obviously, there's going to be margins. Whereas in the Senate seat, you know, you don't really have these this many error margins. Nonetheless, um, the nonetheless, as far as the governorship polls, they seem to be saying Democrats are going to net three. And it shouldn't really come as a surprise, mainly because Maryland and Massachusetts are safe flips. The Republican incumbents are gone, and these are safe blue states. Um, so when you know that fact, the safe blue states, you should really begin to get a sense of, okay, well, if they're safe blue states, then... Um, if they're safe blue states, then you know, you know, they're going to flip. But Arizona might come as a bit more of a surprise, and it's definitely going to be more competitive. Kansas is also leaning in a Democratic direction, but they have a Democratic incumbent. That's partly why they're even competitive in the first place, because otherwise I'm pretty sure that the Democrats wouldn't be able to flip Kansas in a year like this, but they were in a year like 2018, um, do, do like scandal, scandal, scandal stuff. So, hmm, that's kind of unfortunate. And, um, and Pennsylvania is already a blue state as it is. Um, at least in the governorship. And I can pretty confidently say that as far as the state Senate and House, even if the Republicans hold it, they're going to be losing seats because the gerrymanders were, um, overturned. But this video is about Doug Marciano. Because I don't really care too much about Pennsylvania having a Republican um, Senate House. I would actually kind of like if Pennsylvania didn't have a Democratic trifecta. And maybe I would support having a Republican governor if they didn't pick Doug, Fed uh, Doug Marciano. Because Doug Marciano attended the January 6th riots. As we know, 2021 kicked off with a winter storm in the Midwest that caused a fatality in Missouri. But on January 5th, what we saw was runoff elections in Georgia. The Democrats won both of those. Therefore, they won control of the Senate. They were able to flip the Senate because at best for Republicans, they would have still lost a seat. But because they lost three and they only held a three-seat majority with the new Democratic president, they therefore lost control of the Senate. They lost it. 
And I don't think that they're going to be regaining it back. So they might regain house control. But on January 6th, in order to disrupt certification of the Electoral College, um, there was this mob that invaded the Capitol. And Doug Mastriano was among them. But he was still clear to run. Doug Mastriano is very dangerous, and I do not trust him as governor. So we need to make sure that Doug Mastriano does not win.